Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from exitautomation.com and today we're going to talk about an all new tool from fig.io which will help you provide autocomplete feature within your existing terminal. That is the most important thing about this tool itself. So this tool is going to help you bring the autocomplete intelligence something like this pretty much like how you do with the IntelliJ IDE or VS Code or Visual Studio where you can see what is the uh, next option that you can try out and type together. So you can see that this tool is going to give you the auto completion for the tools like Git, uh, Node.js, Docker, Kubernetes and Bash and EXEC something like that. And it will also help you do a lot more things which I'm probably going to show you instead of just looking at this particular documentation. So I've already installed this tool within my machine and you can see that this tool already provide the integration with four different terminals including Visual Studio Code which I don't really have over here I have not displayed that but it actually supports that. So you can see that the fig is already installed within my machine and you can see after I install that again this installation is something you need to get the early access from the team. I already got an email. That's why I have installed this over here. And you can see that there is an integration for item terminal, VS code, hyper integration and SSH integration. Uh, I have these three terminals. I have shown it over here like hyper terminal. And this is the normal terminal. This one which comes with a Mac OS. And this is the item terminal. And the good thing about this particular terminals are that they are very clean and neat and you can do whatever that you are really looking for. So this terminal is running on the Electron platform. That's why it looks very, very clean. Pretty much like how the VS code is built. So for example, if I'm gonna do something like Docker and you can see that this intelligence comes in. This is the cool thing about this fig itself. It's gonna show you the intelligence of what you can do with that particular uh, Docker command after that. It's gonna show you the images, context, container, create, diff, event. I won't, don't even know like some of the commands over here unless until I see the intelligence itself. This is pretty cool. And for example, if I want to see the images and then it's also give you the sub command of that particular command, something like this. So you can see images of all like that and it's gonna show you all the images available over here. And if I want to see uh, a particular or let's say if I want to inspect a particular image, then I can just do docker inspect. And once I do space, you can see that it's also going to show me the images that I have got automatically. It's bringing those two images and then it's going to show me that particular image with that particular image ID. This is cool because all these days I go here, copy the image ID, something like this and paste it. But this intelligence is very interesting to show me exactly what I'm looking for, which is quite cool. And at the same time, you can also use the other commands in the Docker, something like Docker volume. So you can something like, see, you can do this volumes of LS and you can see the volume if you have any. So that's really interesting as well. And the next option which I wanted to show you uh, is on the Git, for example. So if I just do an LS, you can see that if it's in the LS, it's also going to show you which folder that you are navigating to. So this is the folder which is available within my directory and that's cool that it's going to show me all those things over here. Uh, and let's say if I just go .NET Core and you can see that this also shows me the subdirectory here and you can see that it's going to show me all the details which is cool. Uh, and also it supports the .NET for example. So if I just do a .NET and you can see that it shows me all the commands that I can do with the .NET, like .NET run, .NET add, build, clean, list, uh, migrate, MS build, something like that, which is again another option thing which I could do. See, I can do the run and it also shows me other options that I can do within the run command. So these things are completely out of the box with the fig tool itself. And the next thing which I wanted to show you is probably the git command. So if I just go over here in this particular folder directly, you can see that theme of Zeech or oh my Zeech is actually show me, showing me all those uh, cool things over here. And then if I just type something like git, and you can see that it shows me the status, bisect, branch, checkout, cherry pick, clean, clone. Wow, that's cool. Uh, so let's say if I do a status, and then you can see that it's gonna ask me for which file that you want to see the status. That is pretty cool. Uh, so if I just do a status, you can see that it's gonna show me all the statuses over here. And uh, I can also do something like get of a log. And you can see it's also asking me for which particular commit you want to see the log for. 
this is awesome i mean i don't really have to go through all the commands that i need to type like i don't even have to remember the commit id for example because those things are coming for me over here automatically which is cool so those are the most interesting thing which i would see in the fig which is going to make our life much much easier and we can also uh, do some sort of npm command if i wanted to like npm init and npm's command whatever that you wanted to do because that's something out of the box supported within the fig itself as they have mentioned over here so i think this is a best tool guys you should definitely try out this tool and this is going to be really really helpful to see how it actually works once again thank you very much for watching this short and sweet video and this tool is quite awesome worth trying out and you'll probably love it once you start using it once again thank you for watching this video catch you in the next one